Boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly from Real Illusion Forum and AnimatorsForum.com. Um, I want to get this up real quick because I'm going to have a very busy weekend and I may not have time to do anything more on this. Uh, this is a far more stable version. This is part three of these videos. If, if any of you have tried previous versions, uh, I would recommend you get the point eight version right now. It's uh, it's probably 80% of the way there. We have a couple more things we need to finish up, uh, but it's like head and shoulders above the previous versions. So if you've had any trouble with the versions, they haven't worked for you or whatever, um, try try this version. This, this should uh, be a lot better. Anyway, uh, but I wanted to show you one thing, because once somebody asked on the one of the comments, they said, could I use this with uh, characters? like the the ones that can't come into cc3 you know the non-standard ones and you can do that you're going to need to export both the fbx and the obj the fbx you need because it has all the rigging so here's the rigging i, I exported this metal golem so here it is and this is fbx i brought this in to uh, exchange and i'm going to go ahead and apply it to iclone uh, but i also at the same time uh, went ahead and exported the OBJ. And the reason we want OBJ is that that will have the the colors for us to be able to uh, to load in. So, or I'll, I'm sorry, the maps, well, colored maps, whatever, all the them. So, um, so we need both of those things. So you will you will have to do that. But other than that, uh, it works exactly the same. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and want to show you here. There's you know there's nothing here. There's none of the textures. Trying to load in. This has a ton of textures. The other thing I wanted to mention to you because I've been playing around with this one, and because it has so many textures, uh, and not really so many per se, it just has a lot of maps. If you uh, if we go to modify here and you look at this, all of these uh, textures, which is probably you know I don't know twenty or thirty, but they all have uh normals and metallics and roughnesses so they all have to load in they have a lot of processing to do so this takes a long time i think i said earlier in one of my uh one of my uh, videos that you know it shouldn't take more than three or four minutes this is taking 10 or 15 minutes to to do this so uh it still works it's it's nothing to worry about but it is something that you need to be aware of if you're trying to load in and unfortunately I can't give you any feedback about where we are in the process due to the way Python's constructed. Uh, I'm going to see if I can change that with a UI interface of some sort, but for now, there's just no way of knowing where you are or how much more time you have left. You just have to kind of kind of be patient. And you have to be so patient that I'm going to go away and come back when this is, when this is finished. We're going to stop, and I'm going to just show, just to show you uh, how well it works when, it, uh, when it's finished. Okay, and we're back. And there we go. And you can see that with all the maps loaded, it looks a lot better. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, it looks a lot better, and it would be hard to find all those maps on our own. So I want to mention a couple more things about ver this version. It gets the bump maps, too, if there are no normals. So it will load in the normals as a preference, but if there are no normals, it'll, it'll load in any bump maps that happen to be there. And it also does the, um, remember I said I had the, uh, <laughs> I just got something to eat while I was waiting. I had, had the, um, you have to invert the roughness channel. Actually, you have to invert the shininess channel for DES, not the roughness. And so I had that wrong, but now I've got that correct. And I've got a lot more of the maps in. So you should be able to get most of your stuff loaded in properly. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you're having any problems, and I will help with uh, fixos, so uh, hopefully this will be this may be the last version I, I do until Monday or Tuesday. So um, so we'll see you then.